When I wake up, I have to blink my eyes three times before getting out of bed. Always with the right leg. So we get one, two, everything in twos. One, two, one, two. Good. All right. It's seven o'clock in the morning, and Howie Mandel arrives at the set of Deal or No Deal. First trick of the day. Almost immediately, glimpses of the Howie Mandel that he's kept secret for most of his career. Handrails are my enemy. I never go near a handrail. I won't open those things. I would never serve myself. I wouldn't touch this because a lot of people have touched that. This is actually my, my nightmare. Mendel has obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD. I love this. Every door should just push out. His obsession, germs. An obsession made famous with his trademark fist bump. And what's the difference between shaking the hand and, and the fist bump? In my mind, this is a Petri dish. Otherwise, I would spend the day as I have in the past in my life in the men's room rubbing and scrubbing and scalding. For breakfast, I have two toasts. Toasted for three minutes, 33 seconds, cut in three parts. I spread the butter three times on each piece of toast. The tea with three sugar spoons and stirred three times. Then three sips of tea. Blink. Blink. Okay. Right, bed. Over. One, two. One, two. Straighten that. Clothes. Right. White shirt off. One, two, three. We've got yellow. Yellow. Red. Red. Everything is red. Satisfactual. One, two, three, four. Right, looking good. Okay. 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 Get changed. Um, right, best off. Hungry, Shirt on. Buttons. Buttons. Can't eat before right. I blink, blink. This PJ's off. I'll do this first. Pants on. Blink, blink, blink yeah. tie on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, wait a minute. It's jumper first, idiot. Yeah, that's right, that's right. It. jumper on. <sighs> blink, blink, now it's the tie. Two, two, there we go. There we go. That's, two, it. that's it, Sam. One. All right, make two, sure these are neat for later. Yeah, three. This has got to be neat. Straighten that out a bit. Three. <sighs> Shoes. One, two, three. Which one's first? Right, three. One. Right. Um, left. Two. Two. One. Okay. Blink, two. blink. Right. Pens. What do I have? Two. Two blue pens. pens. Two red pens. Yeah. Two black pens. Oh, my bag. Right, put that down there. Grab a jacket. Right, jacket on. Right shoulder for my bag. Left shoulder. Blink, blink. On my way. Um, yeah, bed done. Clothes done. Rail done. Yeah. Where we are, isn't it? All right. Yeah. Let's head downstairs. Okay. Blink. Here we go. Blink. Right. You drop the pill. Yeah. As our camera rolls. Yeah, it's right here. He drops the one anxiety pill he brought with him to the set. I don't want you to touch the floor, and I won't touch the floor. <laughs> I mean, now this, it's coming off like crazy. And it's I, why? I'm not going to take it. To this day, Mandel is in therapy and on medication for the anxiety that comes with his OCD. OCD runs in my family, but it doesn't mean we all experience the same sort of OCD because OCD comes in a lot of different forms. 
it affects people differently. A common stigma about OCD is that it has something to do with cleanliness and organization, which is true for some people, but for a lot of people, it's that's not what it is. In fact, I'm a pretty messy, disorganized person, and I have severe OCD. OCD is when you have intrusive thoughts, thoughts that enter your brain that you can't let go of. You, you, you physically and mentally can't function because these thoughts are just shooting into your head again and again and again. It's like someone like constantly like slapping you in the face, telling you you have to do something or you have to think about something or count something or touch something. It, you are, are literally barred. You're incapable of doing anything else because you're enveloped in these intrusive thoughts. As a I then spend one more hour making sure all the house is completely tidy and in order. Sometimes I try to stop. I try to control myself from doing these things, but it's impossible. I feel like something terrible will happen. I get all tense and I can't breathe. How did you raise three children? That was tough, that was tough. <laughs> the kids, when they were crawling on the floor, everything bought, it was so hard for him. And there was this, a second house built in the backyard for Mendel to escape the germs of his own family. A solitary place where only Howie Mandel would go. And it's embarrassing and it's hard, especially in front of your child. We have constantly told the kids daddy's uh, behavior in those moments is not something to be emulated. Are you able to hug, kiss, touch? Hug, kiss, do everything. It's just for whatever reason, it's the hands. It's the hands. I mean, if somebody's sick, I'll leave the room. Even the kids, if the kids are sick. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I, well, if the kids are sick, I'll put on a mask. If my wife's sick, I won't sleep in the same room and I don't eat in the same room. I care for them. <laughs> And I, uh, I'll be there, but I, you know, it's You'll hard. be there down the hall. Down the hall. You won. I didn't really know what it was. I guess when you're younger, you kind of think, at least I thought that it was, it was something anyone experienced. I just assumed that it, it, it wasn't something out of the norm. I had these physical tics. So there was sniffing, um, touching my finger to my nose. I would turn around a lot. So if I was sitting somewhere, I would have to turn around like, every 20 seconds. I, I couldn't sit on the computer because I'd have to keep turning around, and I'm telling you. As parents, they chronicled the family trips, but the whole story was never captured on video. Look over here, Jackie. My daughter was a teenager, and she crossed her leg, and the bottom of her shoe touched his leg. And we were like halfway to the airport, and he started saying, you gotta take me home, because that was on the floor, and the floor is dirty, and it touched his pants, and think about the germs on his leg. Towards the end of high school, my OCD was getting a lot better, but I had little, little ticks again. And by the way, it's not like I had all of these different ticks at one time. It's about four months I have one tick. The next four months, somehow it transitions into the next one. Um, so it was, like I said, it was really, really hard to treat.